right, welcome. For the uninitiated, it's been a few months actually since we last did this. I am John. I live in a state where recreational cannabis use is fully legalized. I know that was a hot button topic in this past uh, election for a few states. And I watch JoJo and see how the experience changes. I don't understand why they do this. <laughs> yeah, I look like a donut. In the... Why? It's creepy. It's... Uh -huh. He's a true Joe star right there. Special technique. Also, yeah, how the fuck did Koichi not recognize one of the only half-Japanese people in Italy? I, I feel like I ignored that in the first time around just because the... Oh, what was the quote? The you speak Japanese quote still gets me every single fucking time. You speak excellent Italian. <laughs> I have to say, I'm, I'm gonna get to, the, the jury is in, is completed now, that Giorno is my least favorite Joestar, or Jojo, because, and the, people know that I get on Jonathan's case a lot, and that's because he is boring. But with Giorno, it's a situation of he is so much wasted potential, and I don't like wasted potential more than I don't like boring characters. I think John is Jonathan is boring, but that is all that he is. Giorno has a really good thing going, though, because in this show where fate and bloodlines and stuff like that are t tangible things in the world, Giorno is in this yin-yang place. Because he, a, 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 the yin yang place where he is neither good nor bad, or the question should be is he good or is he bad? And the answer is not clear. He was, his nature is that of a Joe star, and his nurture is much, much closer to that of Dio, because, like, Dio got beat by his dad, too. So... Yo, dude, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I can tell. You good? Okay. Are you trying to form coherence? Yes, yes. So, like, the, the, the yin of the Joe stars, which is life and creation and nobility and honor, and the <laughs> of Brando, destruction and dark... Oh, uh, it's dark... <laughs> And the darkness of the Brando bloodline and the vampires and the genocides and the killing. That is. Uh, but I have to finish the thought. There's there's a difference between the Joe Stars and the Brandos that Giorno is the meeting place of is what I'm saying. 
I feel like that should have been a better gimmick for what Golden Wind's power is. Nothing, because we learn in physics, nothing, matter is not created or destroyed. It is, it just changes its form. So, Giorno cannot be the destruction of the Brandos, nor the creation of the Joe Stars. He has to be both, or else gold experience doesn't work. Damn, Jorna would think I'm a futile human being. And also, fuck that hypocrite, Mr. Seven Page Mood. I'm not. Fuck. I'm not. I, I am repetitionist. I've, I've been trying to say the same five sentences this whole episode. Uh, means I gotta restart the Stardust Crusaders to go get Koichi. The Morio team as the Stardust Crusaders, though. What an idea. What a concept. Also, the real protagonist now makes his entrance. Bruno is a fucking psychopath. And I kinda wish he stayed this insane throughout the show rather than being just mom. Giorno's mom is like Z tier Joe Star moms. You got Arena, who is mom and grandma, but still good as Bo. Holly, Tomoko, Tomoko, Tomako, Tokami, Takana, whoever she was. Um, and Lisa, Lisa, they were all S tiers. They were all great moms. Lisa, Lisa was probably the most like bad one, and even then, and she went, it, she wasn't bad. Like her reasons for having to leave the the family behind, it, like it was to protect him, and ultimately they did end up being. A family and loving and he she did love him and he loved her in the end and he he loved her in a way that is both good and also literally something that could be used as a brazer's thumbnail so either way but Giorno's mom is like she is a cunt Neapolitan, like the ice cream. <laughs> I don't even like Neapolitan ice cream. The fly was compelled to return to you, rendering your disguise useless. Wonderful. We are making a record time at bullshit powers that stands have here with Mr. Giorno Giovanna. Uh, we're like, this is like the first fight and we're already getting bullshit reasons and extra power for Stan. Bruno's hair does not fit with his body, but I like it a lot. His voice is great. I mean, I like his voice, not his hair. That's so fucking stupid. There's no way there'd be enough, like, force behind the fist of being thrown. Compared to a fist being thrown, the muscles are just too different. Wow. What the irony. <laughs> Lies. I have to say, I've slept on the ground before. I don't understand why this man preferred to be the bed instead of sleep on one. It just, it feels like he shouldn't be getting the support he what? needs. I thought that was a bed. So Pulpo is his version of Baron Zeppeli, because he gives him this test. Where Giorno could fucking die. 
<sighs> now I can't get the image out of my head of Polpo wearing Zapelli's hat. Polpo. Popo with the hat. <laughs> Popo is speed right. <laughs> there's so much Italian. There's as, there's so there's as much Italian in this show as there is in like the Assassin's Creed series. It's amazing. I haven't heard this much grazie bullshit. <laughs> I don't know Italian. <laughs> you gotta wonder sometimes, how does someone like Giorno or the other Passione members feel about, or, or Diavolo for that matter, feel about the Polish man who currently runs their, their country? Good old Pope St. John Paul II. draw out maneuvering communists and getting shot and refusing continuing to live despite getting shot get punks like four US presidents you got shot did you survive did you get stabbed too and also survive that don't think so Oh, so this poor man is as strong as Holly is. What an unfortunate existence. What a regrettable life we have lost. All of this talk Polpo gives of being the chosen, you'd think Passion's a freaking cult. Koichi, you don't even stay around, dude. Yeah, you get more sightseeing done than you actually help Giorno. <laughs> you just go completely unseen. <laughs> well, I feel like Polpo didn't have to pull the trigger. Because his thumb was stationary on the banana. It was his other finger that was rubbing up against the so, thing and pulling it. So. Does he just grip bananas with the force of an eye? Oh, it's the boys. Yeah, see, the Godfather was doing it wrong. Don Vito Corleone should have dressed up in fishnets. Marlon Brando with just his hairy jiggly titties floppling around and just fishnet nothing would have made The Godfather a way better show I mean movie it was a it was three movies for the longest time I found Narancia was a girl Still not entirely sure he isn't a girl in some level. Okay. It's... Mr. is the Joe Bro of this series. That's the stance I take. That's the stance I feel everyone should take. Not uh, not just because of how much I love Mr. For as good as Bruno is, he's the leader. You can't be the Joe Bro and the leader at the same time. Zapelli was not the Joe Bro, Speedwagon was. Lisa Lisa was not the Joe Bro, Caesar was. Joseph was not the Joe Bro, Kakioin was. Jotaro was not the Joe Bro, Okuyasu was. So, it's just consistency. You gotta respect a man who's that passionate about education. I remember the time I accidentally drank some pee. Wasn't that bad. I got two 
but I wouldn't do it again. We're back on a boat. We always got a boat episode. Except for parts one, two, and four. So we got a boat episode for this and part three. Dan, you're now just capping a guy with a banana. It's almost like cops have to arrest people. Did this man really not realize that criminals in a society are also citizens in that society? Abaccio never seemed to understand that we live in a society. I miss him. I think this is the most backstory we got from a group of the Joe Star group. Not like ever. And there it is. Goodbye to the greatest police officer ever. This comes from nowhere, and I love it. 